Hey there and welcome to another Dave Does Reaction. Today we're continuing our top 10 challenge list from Hellbaron666. Your latest track you've requested is Enter Shakiri and Radiate. Uh, I do know of the band but never really got into them or listened to them uh, that much. But I, I kind of knew of, of the band when I was in the... When I used to gig uh, and played bands myself. So they were kind of around the same sort of time as we were. Uh, but they were a hell of a lot bigger. We were more local band sort of format. Uh, but yeah, going to be cool to go check these guys out. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, click the bell icon, like, share, leave the comments down below, get involved in all the challenges, all the details of which are going to be being played over the top of the video. Let's do this. This is Enter Shakiri and Radiate. Going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Got kind of a little bit of a dubstep kind of vibe to this kind of tone. heard a few different interesting time signatures in here, so that's cool. I don't think it fucks up your head, Noddy. We'll write songs in the dark And to stop us from fading away We'll write for a better day This vomiting of anguish An eruption of the soul To radiate energy to comfort and console to scatter our thoughts to splatter our spirit a blizzard of fire with all we transmit so to keep us from falling apart we'll write songs in the dark and to stop us from fading away we'll ride for a better day so to keep us from falling apart we'll write songs in the dark and to stop us from fading away Right for a better
was into Shikari, 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 uh, into Shikari, uh, and Radiate. Uh, so I like the track, I like the hook. Uh, it had a cool, as I said, it kind of had a little bit of a dubstep on the low end, uh, and it also had that kind of eclectic, uh, different, a couple of different drum styles in there, which were kind of cool. Uh, the only criticism I have of it, I, I don't mind repetition, so that was cool. Uh, I just felt it was slightly long uh for the style of track it was it felt like around about three minutes 30 that was the right time to end the song so that last kind of minutes worth uh where it went back into kind of another chorus and then it went into a clean section at the end uh i don't really think that added anything to the song um it just kind of let it, it all it did was it made it feel long uh, and feel like uh, overly drawn out. And probably that's where some of the comments I'm reading in the YouTube video of it uh, are sort of saying it's a bit repetitive and so forth. Which, as I said, I think the way they utilise the, the same lyrics and just did certain repetitions and different over different sort of riff patterns uh, or uh, different styles uh, was fine with me. Uh, it worked really well, uh, but it just was a little bit too long overall. Uh, but cool track. I never did say at the beginning the reason behind it. So uh, why did Hell Barrow 66 nominate this? song where he said love this band always they don't have genre because they play everything uh this song has so much meaning for me it has my it was my power song for my hard times in life so it's cool that you had uh something to uh kind of relate to or utilize to get you through certain things and hopefully you are through that now and you're in a better place uh but very cool so uh, if you like the video please do subscribe click the bell icon like share Get involved with the challenges. The top 10 challenge video is definitely still open. Well, depending if you, if you see this a year after I've put it out there, hopefully by then I will have finished it, but it is open at the time of doing the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and that's how Dave does it.